today we're having our regional science fair and it's so important for students because it really oftentimes allows them to really kind of engage in this research process and really recognize how science has such an impact on their everyday lives. So we're excited to see that our numbers are right back where they used to be. We have students participating, they're here very, very excited and really they recognize that science is something that they can do. It's doable, it's relatable and it has an impact on their community. My name is Amari Hodges Barnes and this is my project. So basically I did a project on the pH level of soil and how it affects the rate of growth. So I first mixed, I first had dirt, dirt compost mixed soil, soil compost mixed acidic dirt, acidic soil. To create the acidic dirt and acidic soil, I simply added lime juice to both soil samples to make the pH level rise. My name is Kylan Volley, and my partner is Jelena Chum, and our project name is The Brown Experiment, where we see what type of liquids will prevent our apples from browning the best. We thought about life problems, and we didn't really like oxidizing apples, so we wanted to have a solution for it. Science Fair is one of those opportunities that schools offer where students can get out of that mode of just receiving information. And here in the Science Fair, they're actually creating that information. They're doing a project that they've invented and they are gathering information. They are learning information from their project. And so it's not a passive way of learning, but it's a very active way of learning. The first thing I did was research about my project. I wanted to know what changes the braking time of a bike. I found out the speed of a bike changes the braking time of a bike. And then to change the speed of a bike, I had to change the air pressure. The more air pressure I have in the bike's tires, the faster the bike's going to be. That leads to my hypothesis of where the more air pressure I have, the longer it's going to take the bike to brake. They can choose what they want to actually do their research project on, so that's what makes it so powerful because it's something that they're interested in and not necessarily based on the class that they're taking. So we love the fact that there is a choice that they are allowed to choose whatever topic and whatever category they want to participate in. Hello, my name is Neil Barlow. I go to Leeds College Academy and I'm in sixth grade. My project is about the benefits of electromagnetic trains. In order to create the magnetic trains, I took a wooden dowel and wrapped wire around it and made a coil. Then I attached two magnets to the end of a battery and pushed it through the coil and it moved by itself. I made this project because I wanted to prove the fact that you don't need emissions and gas and fossil fuels and pollutants and CO2 to be able to have an efficient way to transport yourselves. Science is something that's not just for the few, but it's for all, and recognizing that they really have a way to have a voice. And so hopefully from this experience, they're inspired to continue and maybe one day become some type of STEM career professional and really recognize that they have a way to make the world better.